Hola bola de bombos, bienvenidos a este nuevo video de YouTube Hola amigos, hoy les quiero presentar un nuevo pack para la Playstation Mini Classic Y bueno, ¿qué les parece? Este pack está súper completo, es un pack de 256 GB Hello friends, today I want to show you this pack It's a 256 GB pack for the PlayStation 1 Mini. As you can see, it has new themes and the menu looks amazing. Como ustedes pueden ver, tiene un nuevo menú y el menú se mira increíble, increíble de verdad. Tenemos el menú de Legend of Mana. We have the menu of Legend of Mana. We have the PlayStation Classic, P PlayStation Ubuntu, PlayStation PS1 Dim, PlayStation Classic Dim, Secret of Mana, and okay, let's let let me let me show you the games uh, that this uh, <coughs> pack includes. Déjenme les muestro los juegos que este pack de PlayStation 1 Classic de 256 GB incluye. En total son 300, 322 juegos de PlayStation 1. Más los 21 preinstalados de fábrica. Total of games are 320 games plus the 21 that came installed with the PS1 Mini. Let me change the view of the games. Let's choose the clean view for the game artwork. Let's play one of these games so I can show you the gameplay. Juguemos uno de estos juegos para mostrarles el gameplay. Vamos a jugar el... Darius Gaiden Pero antes vamos a ponerlo en HD mode We're gonna play Darius Gaiden But first we're gonna We're gonna We're gonna pl uh, Set up this game to HD mode So it looks So it can look a much much better Let's look for it Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this new this new pack for your PlayStation 1 Classic Mini. Here it is. This is the game we were looking for, so we're gonna enable the speed hack and we're gonna enable the high resolution mode and the log data. We're just gonna go back to the game menu. And we're gonna choose this game, Darius Gaiden. Am I, am I pronouncing the game name correctly? Please let me know in the comments below. <coughs> bueno, vamos a mostrarles el juego de Darius Gaiden en alta definición. So as you can see, the game works and plays perfectly fine. Como ustedes pueden ver, el juego funciona en... Perdón, el juego funciona perfectamente. Okay, now let's 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 play uh, now let's play a 3D game so you can see how the 3D games looks. So as you can see, we have four slots for game saves. Let's play a 3D game now. 
We're gonna play. Let's play Fighting Force. But first, we're gonna enable. Um, we're gonna enable the HD hack for this game, so it can look much better. Bueno, ahora vamos a um, uh, en, en a usar el hack para que el juego de de Fighting Force se vea se vea en alta resolución en Let's play Fighting Force now. And as you can see, it works pretty good. I'm using the <coughs> the OTG mode in this PlayStation Classic so you can play two player games without using a guess uh, I forgot how to call it but uh yeah, a, a USB hub, you don't need to use a USB hub because you don't need to use the second port controller for your USB with games anymore. So let's do a, a, a short gameplay so I can show you how this game works. If you want to download this pack for your PlayStation Mini Classic, you can uh, go to arcadepunks.com you're gonna find it there or if you want to buy it directly from me you just need to let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to sell you one of the drives with all the games in this amazing pack for the PlayStation 1 Mini let's do a short gameplay As you can see this game works amazingly well. Okay, let's 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 uh, exit this game now. Now I'm gonna show you <coughs> the other themes for this amazing pack. We have this, the shelves. We have the solar. We have the stranger blim. We have the bolt 94, and that's it for the. Okay, let's open RetroArch so I can show you all the emulators that this uh, pack contains. Do you like what you're watching? Please don't hesitate to give this video a like and uh, leave a comment. And if you want to see a gameplay for any specific game that you're uh, looking at this uh, video, you can just let me know in the comments below and I'll upload a video for you. As you can see, there the the almost 
all the artwork for the games it's included on your right side como ustedes pueden ver a todo el artwork de los juegos o el, el, los, los, las portadas de los juegos casi todas están incluidas uno que otro juego no las tiene porque no las pude encontrar pero bueno les voy a mostrar un pequeño gameplay de los sistemas más populares I'm gonna show you uh, a short gameplays for the most popular uh, games for the most popular consoles or arcade games we're gonna show you a gameplay of uh, uh, let's go to let's go look for the king of fighters here you go let's play the king of fighters the king of fighters uh, 98 and as you can see this uh, all the emulators have uh, bezels como ustedes pueden ver todos los emuladores tienen uh, tienen un dibujos a los lados para que se pueda ver mejor el gameplay ok, let's choose uh, our characters let's choose Terry, Robert and Yuri come on Ryo, come on Okay, let's get a, let's let's exit this game so I can show you another one from Let's see. Let's try one for Nintendo 64. Let's try Super Mario 64 so you can see how it works. Mario 64, where are you? Oh, it's actually Super Mario 64. Let's look for it. Vamos a calar el Super Mario 64 para ver qué tal funciona el emulador de Nintendo 64 en el PlayStation Mini. Bueno, en realidad uh, el emulador funciona de forma similar como en el PlayStation, perdón, como en el Super Nintendo Mini. It's me, Mario. Hello. Algunos hiccups. Tenemos algunos hiccups. Desafortunadamente los uh, desarrolladores aún no han puesto la opción para guardar los controles. Eso tengo que configurar los controles cada vez que uso este emulador por el momento. Pero creo que en un futuro van a arreglar este pequeño glitch. For the moment I have to, I have to configure the controllers every time I play Nintendo 64 games. It seems that the developers uh, haven't found a way to save the controllers configurations for the PlayStation Mini yet. But that's not an issue. So let's go back. Let's go to history and let's go back to Super Mario. And as you can see, it's working fairly well. You can notice some hiccups, but it's working acceptable. Como ustedes pueden ver, el emulador de Nintendo 64 está funcionando súper bien. Um, algunas Tiene algunos momentos en el que se alenta. Y eh, pues la resolución tiene que estar baja. Porque si subimos la resolución, entonces el juego se vuelve súper lento y no jugable. If I increase the resolution of the game on the Nintendo 64, the game would, be, would get really slow. And uh, the gameplay would be really bad. But as you can see, if you keep the resolution low, 
the game works fairly well, not perfect, but it's acceptable. There we have Mario Brothers. Let's just play uh, the first level for now, so I can show you the gameplay of the Nintendo 64. As you can see, we notice some really bad slowdown for this emulator. But it's still playable. Okay, let's exit this game. So I can show you other emulators. As you can see, uh, let me show you the, all the complete list. We have Atari 2600, Atari 7800, Atari Lynx, Arcade Games. Uh, arcade games are actually um, Neo Geo games. These are all Neo Geo games for the console. Mame games, but these are, are these are actually the really the real arcade games. And we have PC Engine, PC Engine CD, PC Engine Super Graphics, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Nintendo 64, Nintendo DS. Let me show you a gameplay for the Nintendo DS, so you can see how it works. Let's play Nintendo 64. I'm sorry. Let's play. Um, let's play Nintendo DS games. Uh, let's play a Kirby game. Seems that we need to configure the, the touch screen. Let's configure the touch screen screen. Configure controls. Let's go to the cursor. Up, down, left, right. Okay, uh, let's save uh, this configuration for this game only. Let's go back to the game. Let's play uh, the file one. Story mode. Continue. Continue. Thank you, thank you. We don't want to read the storyline. Uh, we just want to start playing right now. Thank you. Let's play level one.
Okay, that's enough gameplay. Let's exit this emulator. And let me show you one more emulator before I finish this video. Let me show you the PlayStation Portable. Let's play... Power Stone Collection. Okay, so what do you think so far? Do you like this video or uh, want to see another video of a gameplay for this amazing PS1 classic that is now only $29.99 at your favorite electronic stores? Please let me know in the comments below. Let's play one on one. And let me choose. Let's see what character we can choose. Let's choose one tongue. Okay, let's go to this stage. As you can see, it has a little glitch, uh, some glitches, but it works. It works acceptable. Okay, let's go get this. Let's go get this. Okay, my friends, that's it for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to give a like. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't yet. And share this video with your friends. Thanks again, and uh, see you in my next video.